Hello guys, what is going on? Techrim UK here. So for today's video, we're gonna talk about uh, Virgin Media Wi-Fi pods. So um, I have two of these. I'm gonna show you how to set them up. It's really simple. And um, basically what they do, they take your existing Wi-Fi network and they extend it without you having to change the password or have like three different uh, access points to connect the password on each one is basically like a mesh wi-fi and it works great especially if you're on gig one and have the hub five and this is how it looks basically you plug it in and uh, besides wi-fi you have two one gigabit uh, network ports where you can plug i don't know your laptop your tv uh, network attached storage stuff like that so yeah this is how it looks it comes in a cardboard uh, yellowish box is nothing uh, unusual nothing special and uh, you have some serial numbers some barcodes on the side on the back and uh, yeah I'm gonna show you how to use it it's basically really simple all you have to do is just plug it in and then uh, go to the Virgin Media Connect app and it should show there but bear in mind in order to use these pods uh, you only have you only need to have 2.4 gigahertz network I mean you can use both but not with separate ID so you can use both 2.5 and 5 2.4 and 5 gigahertz uh, network names and profiles but have them under one name because if you have them separately the, these pods won't work so I assume you just uh, plugged your uh, router in and you didn't do no settings, no nothing. The best thing to do is just uh, take take the pod and plug it in. I'm going to show you guys how to plug it in in a second. I'm going to plug this one in the kitchen. I have another one upstairs in my office room. And uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go plug it in. So I am going to plug this pod into the kitchen right here because I have some uh, Wi-Fi cameras. One it's there, one it's there on the outside and it's better for them to have like really good uh, strong network. So all you have to do after you take it out of the box, you plug it in, you turn on the socket, it's gonna start flashing a light right here. I don't know if you can see, let me turn off the light of the camera. So uh, right now it's flashing blue, it's a solid blue, but it's going to start flashing and look for a network in a second. And basically now it's connected. Now when it's not flashing, you have no light. It means that it's connected. Let me show you the other one, which is upstairs and uh, that one is connected as well. So I'm going to go upstairs now and show you uh, how that one is. That one I have a laptop connected with a wire to it. I'm going to show you that in a second. Uh, yeah, let's go upstairs. So this is the other Wi-Fi pod which I have in my room. It doesn't matter if it's facing the wall because as you can see, it's got no light, which means it's working. I have a cable coming from the two ports. Uh, it's coming into my Alienware laptop and basically I'm getting a stable wire connection, especially if you're doing like um, video calls or like gaming or stuff like that. It's really useful. I'm gonna go back to my main office now and I'm gonna show you guys um, how you can manage your network using the Virgin Media Connect app and how you can manage these pods. Okay guys, so now after you connect your pods or one pod and if you want to make sure that they're working, as I told you, they are working when uh, the light stops blinking, but if you want just to check, Virgin Media Connect app either on Play or App Store. We open it, we log in and everything. And after that, we go to broadband. So at bro broadband, it will show you how many devices it's connected to what, and uh, you can manage them somehow. Uh, so we have our hub five, we have a pod in the kitchen and a pod in the bedroom. You can set names for them so you keep track on them. So the one in the bedroom, only one device is connected to it, that's fine. The one in the kitchen, probably the cameras and the Echo Show from Alexa. And if you want to manage your network, 
I mean, you can click on it and it will show like uh, MAC addresses, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah, you can reboot it or you can find it. When you press find, it will it will flash the light. But if you want, if you want to manage your network, you go on this plus sign right here. You can either add a Wi-Fi pod if you order another one because you are you are entitled to three of them for free. If you are a gig one customer, if not, you gotta pay monthly. And uh, you you either add a Wi-Fi pod or you can go to network settings. Network settings. You can manage your guest Wi-Fi and you can manage your current Wi-Fi network. Uh, so you press on it and then uh, you can change the name and you can change the password. They all devices, they use the same name and the same password and they bo both, oh, actually the three of them, they all broadcast 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, but it's only under one name called 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, obviously you can set if you go into, into the IP address on the on the back of the router and log in you can uh, you can set for example I set my phone to only work on the 5 gigahertz network because it's faster even though the range is not that great but right now when I have the boosters I got no problem with that so you can actually set you can actually set uh, which devices go to which network so for example if you want longer range for your cameras and higher stability you use 2.4 if you want faster speeds and a bit lower range you use 5 gigahertz but in order for the pods to work all of uh, both of the networks need to be combined under 2.4 so you only have one name for them basically they're not 2.4 that's how I named how I named mine uh, but they're combined using uh, only one so yeah, basically that's it. This is how you, this is how you manage your pods, and it will show here connection. Great, your connection is good. So yeah, this is a really helpful app. And then if you press this one, it will show you a list of devices like what you have connected, TVs, laptops, PCs, phones, whatever. And yeah, pretty much it's it's great. Uh, I have uh, full coverage on my house right now. The speeds are not the same on the boosters, but uh, it's better than having no uh, network at all. So I think you can get 500 megabytes, something like that out of them on the actual uh, router, the, the Hub 5. As you can see on the Hub 5, I have it connected. I have connected my PC to the 2.5 uh, giga, gigabits a second port and also my PC right there it's connected with this cable all the way there it's connected to the 2.5 gigabits a second and I'm actually getting 1000 uh, 1100 and something download and about 50 to 55 upload which is really good people been telling me that uh, you should be getting double the upload speed in a couple of weeks months i don't know virgin media is apparently rolling it out so um yeah i hope you guys find this video useful again the app name is virgin media connect you can find it it's free log in with your account and it will help you manage your uh, virgin media hub and uh, pretty much that's it if you guys have any questions about how to set up the pods how to order them um any troubleshooting let me know down in the comments and i will do my best to help you out uh, until then thank you very much for watching and uh, i'll see you in the next one